What's up, Marina? This is the Blast Akram. Welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Well, today we are going to learn about the routing charts. Let's start. All right, guys. So this is how the routing chart looks like. You can see here this chart is uh, South Atlantic Ocean. This is for month of October. So this is you obviously know this is South Atlantic Ocean. Actually, we are right now in South America. We are in Peru. So uh, it is useful for the areas where you are navigating. So what all information are provided by the routing charts? We will learn in this video. All right, guys. You will have the number of this chart five one two five on the right corner and also on the left corner on the top okay you will have this limit of routing charts also on all the routing charts that which area covers which one you can see here the 5125 is covered by the southern atlantic ocean okay 5124 is for the north atlantic ocean mediterranean sea is 5146 so that's how you have to order the chart number so that's how you have to uh, so by using this number you can order the routing charts for your intended voyage okay so but do mind that it is for every month so this is for October month. We have learned here, you can see here the higher moderate probable uh, uh, ocean currents are like this, which is, has a split. You can see here moderate consistency about 50 to 75 percent. So this is the direction of the currents will be around in October month in this area. And this is a highly probable uh, current here, which will be mostly uh, more than 75 percent high consistency. OK, and the less probable you can see here, which are more dashed, OK, which is not a complete arrow. So this is a direction of the ocean currents has been given here which will be mostly in this area the next thing which we learned that is the ice limit you can see here the ice limit mostly obviously here in this chart will be in the southern part so you can see here this ice limit has been drawn okay so when you are navigating around this area you need to be very careful that it could be a sea, uh, ice you will find or maybe icebergs okay so this is the limit which is given here all right so the next part is the load line at what load line we can go in these areas you can see here the load lines are marked okay so the green one is for the tropical zone you can see here green one is for tropical zone and this pinkish color is about summer zone and this blue is for winter zone okay so it there is a separation here on from here to here you can see this is all tropical region okay tropical region but if you are navigating below this area you have you cannot go in tropical uh, load line you have to come to the summer load line that will be your limit okay so you can here see there is one more limit here so up to here to here is summer load line after that winter load line starts you can see this blue line okay obviously this is a southern part so the weather will be more severe here so that's why the winter load line has been drawn here okay okay so by using the routing charts you get to know that what is the limit for your load line okay so the next part is about the shipping routes shipping routes are given here most common shipping routes which are used here okay so you can see here from cape town to new york this is the uh, shipping route and how much will be the distance that is 7377 that is the average distance which is used for the most common shipping routes okay so the shipping routes you can see here the distance and from which place to which places will be given here in the routing charts which are the famous one okay not for every port okay guys so the next information is about the trs information that is tropical revolving storm you can see here mostly they are in the caribbean sea okay so mostly you will find the, the trs development uh, in the caribbean sea which is popular area for trs in about october month so they have given the tracks of this famous trs you can see here the direction of the trs mostly they go like this and then turn towards the north okay so then you will have an idea that what are the tracks for the tropical revolving storm in this area and where you will find them okay so here is that about the dew point information and the mean sea temperature so you can see here the temperature will be of the sea uh, in the green and the red color is the dew point temperature so you can see here the temperature of the uh, sea is dropping as you going south and south because obviously uh, in the southern parts you will have the uh, lower temperatures okay then you have the pressure also you can see here they have made this iso bars okay all the pressure and the mean air temperature the temperature of the air this is temperature of the sea this is temperature of the air given in this chart okay all right guys now we have reached up the most important part of the routing chart that is windrows where well, windrows are the these kind of shapes on the routing charts okay so windrows gives us three things first is the direction of the wind second the buff coat scale of that wind and the third the frequency of that wind speed okay so now let's learn how it is given with the wind rows. you can see here the scale is given here for the frequency and the scale also given here for the buff coat okay so one two three you will have one line 
and you can see for four uh, wind force you have a block for five to six same block but with the red color inside then the block becomes a little bigger for the wind force seven and then the block becomes with the red color for eight to twelve wind force in the center this is a percentage of calms percentage of calms mean when the weather when there is no wind at all so 1.6 percent uh, here in this it is given here so let's take an example of uh, this uh, wind rose so 0.2 will be the percentage of calm in this uh, uh, area and you can see there are spokes all around this center so the longer spokes are mostly in the west direction northwest and southwest on the eastern side nothing is there so it means the mostly the wind direction will be from uh, southwest west or northwest okay so this gives the direction of the wind now let's find out the bufcourt scale bufcourt scale means there is a scale in which you can find out the speed of the uh, wind so you can see if uh, it's wind force one then it the speed will be in one to three knots if bufcourt scale is three it means seven to ten knots so this is the scale you refer to find out what is the wind speed okay so now let's take so now let's see here you can see uh, this block and this block this block is known for the We've got scale number four and from five to six. Now let's take this ruler. Now let's take this ruler and measure this zero. You can see here it's point two. Okay. And then measure it here on the frequency. Point two means about five percent. It means the direction of the wind will be from west. That is the first thing. Second thing, the wind force is four for this block, and the frequency for wind force force. Is five percent. So if we measure this longer spoke, that is for five to six wind force. That is one centimeter, and then we take one centimeter here. Okay. So you can see it is around eighteen percent. Okay. So eighteen percent are the frequency from west direction wind force for five to six. That's how you use the wind rows to find out the wind direction. speed of the wind and the frequency of that wind direction and speed okay all right guys so this was all about the routing charts if you find this video helpful you can please press the like button and do subscribe the channel also if you have any question you can put down in the comment section below do share this video to your friends so that they can also learn about the routing charts all right guys so i will see you in the next video this is a blast tackle signing off